welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to explain different methods of treating kidney failure. So there are two methods we need to know, one called kidney dialysis and kidney transplants. Now, what they might ask you to do in the exam is evaluate them. So what they might give you is some information in a paragraph or in, a, in the form of a table, and they might ask you to evaluate it as in pick out the pros and cons and then to explain which you think is best and why. So just worth being aware that they could ask you to do that. Okay. So I'll start off by explaining how dialysis works. Now what dialysis involves is artificially cleaning the blood. Because if someone's kidney fails, it means that they can't remove waste products and they'll build up and that could lead to death. So what a kidney uh, dialysis machine does is it filters the blood and cleans the blood um, artificially. So what we have is we have a person's blood being carried out of their body by tubes and then entering a machine, being cleaned, and then it re-enters their body. Now this process takes a good four hours to fully clean someone's blood, so it is, it's not a quick process. Okay. So how it works, we have our dialysis machine, and this is diagram shows what's happening within the machine. So you've got the blood flowing one way, you've got the dialysis fluid flowing the other way, and between them we have a membrane, or a partially permeable membrane, which allows certain materials across it. So you can see that I've drawn some uh, materials in the blood. So we've got amino acids, glucose, and ions in the blood, and also those same materials in the fluid. Now it's important that we have put these materials in the dialysis fluid as well, because what would happen if we didn't have them in the fluid is they would diffuse out of the blood down the concentration gradient into the fluid and they'd be removed from our person's blood, which would basically make them weaker and make them more likely to die. We only want to remove one material from that person's blood, and that is urea. So you can see in the, in the bloodstream there's urea and there's no urea in the fluid. This means that the urea can diffuse out of the blood and into the dialysis fluid and then would be carried away. So this fluid would be carried away and removed and would be continually replaced by new dialysis fluid. This is because we don't want urea to build up in our fluid. Now this allows a person to have their blood filtered and cleaned and it is helpful because it means that they don't have to do it that often. So it happens roughly three times every week in hospital and they have to, uh, it takes about four hours or so each time. Okay, so that is dialysis and it removes urea from the blood. Now the other way that we could potentially sort out kidney failure is by a transplant, which I'm sure you know uh, what that means. So obviously it involves removing the kidney that isn't working and replacing it with a functional kidney. Okay. But it's not quite that simple. We need to make sure that we've matched a few things between the uh, person who's received the kidney and the donor. So imagine this is our recipient's kidney. The recipient just means the person who's going to be receiving a donor kidney. And if you look on the surface of our kidney, we can see these molecules. Now the surface of every cell in your body has a molecule called an antigen. This just means it's a molecule that displays to your body, displays to your own immune system, that it is yourself. Okay? If we have the wrong antigens, our body's immune system, white blood cells, are going to attack that and try to destroy it, which is not what we want. So what we have to do, we have to make sure we do a process called tissue typing. This involves matching the donor to the recipient. So imagine we've got two different donors here. Uh, this donor, donor one, and donor two. What we need to do is make sure that the antigens are the same or as similar as possible from the donor to the recipient. So what we would do is we'd obviously choose this donor and we wouldn't choose this donor because this donor has very similar antigens. Now this organ can then be transplanted into the body of the recipient giving them a functional kidney. Now one thing um, no matter how good a match it is, it's never going to be perfect. So what has to happen is the recipient, the person who's had the new kidney, has to take immunosuppressant drugs for their whole life to reduce the chance of their body rejecting that organ and their white blood cells destroying it. So that's kidney uh, transplants and dialysis. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you mention, remember those key terms, dialysis, tissue typing, transplant, antigens. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, please like, share and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Bio. Thank you.